first of all, I would like to thank uh, my three colleagues who included me in the discussion groups as decided by the parliamentary group chairman. And I'd like to say two things about this treaty. First of all, it's completely useless. We don't need this treaty, and it's not a treaty, it's an intergovernmental agreement that is there f f for one reason only, according to those who came up with it, and that is to reassure the markets by asking national legislation to include the constitutionalization of what we call the golden rule. All the markets are saying that in any case they're not interested. So we are drafting an intergovernmental agreement that today's markets are not interested in because what the markets want are a political conception of uh, the economy of tomorrow and this treaty will not put forward such a political concept. Therefore, we call on the member states who signed this treaty to say that, there's a, uh, that there should be a road map for the Commission on a financial transaction task, it, uh, tax. We want a road map on eurobonds, among others, because that won't be included in the treaty. Uh, I'm sorry, I keep saying treaty, but in fact it's an agreement, so all of this won't be in this agreement. Our group feels that we are wasting time trying to improve something which is useless. We are intelligent, we are going to improve it, but this is not the necessary uh, response to the crisis um, that Europe finds itself in. If we don't come up with legislative initiatives in order to make sure that uh, um, the EU does what it has to do, then it won't rise to the occasion. Thank you.